Hey there guys, Virtus here with today's Adobe Muse quick start video. Today we'll be working on adding all the different pages to our website using the planning view of Adobe Muse. Having said that, we'll be going over the planning view, adding sub pages and explaining the master page. If you haven't seen the last video where we set up our pro website's project file, make sure you check it out. It's really quick and simple to start making those pages, so let's dive in. So, we've got our website ready to start working with and one of the first things you need to do is figure out the pages you'll have on your website and how you can structure them. This would usually be done before you begin to develop. Taking a look at the sample website we'll be working on over the series, we have three pages, Home, about us and contact. If you don't have the sample website already, go ahead and download it from the link in the description below. Anyway, let's go ahead and create these pages inside the planning view. Adobe Muse will use the setup we create in here to generate our menus and link them up for us. Now, by default, we have a home page already, so we just need to add the about us and contact pages. To add them, just go ahead and press the plus icon to the right of the home page and give it a name. We'll simply just call it about us for now and do the same thing to add the contact page. You can also delete a page you no longer want by pressing the little X icon that appears when hovering over it. You can also create a sub page by pressing the plus icon below a page. That way, in our menus it will give us a drop down option below the original page. For example, if you want to create a page for a big company that sells computer components with a few different products, a sub page from the products page would be things like processors, graphics cards and the like. We're not going to be using any sub pages for this series, so we'll just leave it how it is for now. You can also reorder your pages quite simply by dragging and dropping them and making sure you drop them into the orange highlighted zone either to the left or the right of the different page. Lastly, you have a master page, one of the most important pages of your website. Anything you do to this page will apply to all of your pages. Having said that, you'll be creating the header, footer and menus inside the master page so you don't have to recreate the same thing for each individual page. You'll see this in action when we start to work on the header later on in the series. You can also add extra master pages if you want, that way you can essentially have more than one template. You can add master pages in the same way by simply pressing the plus icon next to it and giving it a name. If you want to apply a different master page to one of your pages, just right click it, go down to the masters in the, in the option there and choose the one that you want. You also have the option to not use a master page if you like. From this menu you can also duplicate a page, create new child pages and such. Lastly, if you want to start working on a website, just go ahead and double click on it to open it from there and you can start creating your content which we'll move on to in the next video. Websites can become quite complex quite quickly, especially for bigger websites than this. Taking a look at another example I have, you can see it begins to turn into a web of pages. So it's best to spend as much time as possible in this view to figure out the structure and flow of your website. Anyway, without further ado, move into your homepage as in the next video, we'll We'll begin working on adding some text and images. Hopefully you guys now have a better understanding of how to create pages inside a Muse and are ready to start creating some cool content. Make sure you share the video, smack that like button and as always keep on creating.